It's on-chain Wednesday and that means we are going to take the time to update our price prediction for the crypto markets with the help of the latest on-chain metrics. So grab yourself a coffee, stay tuned, a lot of interesting stuff we need to talk about today. I'm going to see you in 20 seconds. Hey everybody, welcome back. Good to see you again and welcome to today's episode of That Crypto Show. It's Wednesday and you know what that means. Wednesday, we always want to have a look under the hut of Bitcoin into the on-chain metrics to determine in which direction the crypto markets will develop in the next weeks and months. And today is a bit of a special episode. So uh, normally uh, the on-chain metrics, we are more focused there on the long-term picture. So in the past, we've talked a lot about the long-term holders there. Today, we want to do something different because I think it's a special market situation that we are in currently. So I focused more on the... Uh, short-term holders actions. I think there is some stuff going on that will become very, very important for price development in the next days. Uh, so we're going to look at two metrics to try to determine where the prices of cryptos. And when I say crypto, you know, I'm analyzing Bitcoin here, but you can almost one to one translate everything here to the crypto of your choice. You know, when Bitcoin is going up, uh, you it's very likely that the altcoin maybe you are owning uh, at least from the top 10 or maybe top 15 is also going up vice versa if bitcoin is going down probably your altcoin is going down too so let's you know focus on the flagship out there and that of course is still bitcoin before we start please leave us a like subscribe to the channel so we can continue to offer you great free content like this if you have been a watcher of that crypto show already in the past, you know that on Wednesdays I usually focus on the newest Glassnode report. So Glassnode is a company that does so-called on-chain uh, metrics analysis. On-chain means they look at the blockchain of Bitcoin or Ethereum for example and determine by certain metrics how the behavior of uh, certain cohorts of Bitcoin investors is. When I say cohorts, usually they differentiate between short-term holders and long-term holders. Long-term holders usually is, uh, are investors that hold on to their Bitcoins for more than 150 days. Today, we are going to focus more on the short-term holders. And let's really jump right into this at the moment. The first metric here I want to show you is the UTXO Realized Price Distribution. So this metric shows at which prices the current set of Bitcoin UTXO were created. So in short, we can see... Uh, for example, where were clusters where a lot of Bitcoin were transacted, aka bought or sold uh, as a matter. And I always use this to determine zones of support and resistance on the chart. And I've updated my chart here uh, today quite a bit because I think it shows very clear that we have new clusters of support and resistance now. The two are, are really three uh, zones here that are important in my opinion are first of all the zone here between 45 and 50k which is a super strong support we also have a 200 days moving average there at the moment so if we fall down there you know it's pretty hard to uh, for the price to to just you know go pierce through there without any terms of resistance there are other factors also that come into play there second zone is the zone between 56,000 and 60,000 so this is the area we are currently in and this is an area of support uh, because as you can see whenever we uh, went down whenever the price went into this box of support between 56 and 60,000 we saw some buying action again this ties also very good into the next metric I'm going to show you here. So this is an area of support. As long as we don't fall out of this area, we can expect to stay about 50,000. Most important new zone that has formed over the last weeks is this large zone between 60 and 68,000 US dollars. And we saw 1.9 million Bitcoins uh, spent there or transacted. 
So we are, it's, it's pretty safe to say that we now have investors that again, and this is the same situation we had back when in May already, uh, bought uh, within this area between 60 and 68,000 uh, that are now sitting on losses. And what you can expect when we are moving into this area again, and we saw this a couple of days ago here already, that we are going to see some selling pressure because especially short term holders tend to be, uh, you know, a bit more nervous when it comes to uh, to their trades. And you're going to see once, you know, break even points are reached there, uh, some selling action probably uh, again for because people want to get out of their coins. So uh, this is really the zone to see. It's very unlikely, in my opinion, at the moment that we, you know, see moves like we uh, like we saw, for example, here that may Make us pierce through this area within one or two days. But of course, when we are talking about Bitcoin, we are talking about the crypto market where nothing is impossible. Uh, another very interesting metric, uh, in my opinion, is the short term holder cost basis. And you can determine here really, uh, first of all, what in what way are the short term holders, so everybody that uh, holds on to Bitcoin for less than 150 days, how are they behaving and where's the cost basis at the moment? And there are actually two things to see on this uh, on this chart. First of all, this yellow line. So whenever this yellow line is above one, we see uh, that short term holders are, are sitting on profits. When it's in the red, we see that are uh, sitting on losses. And you can also see whenever this turns red, uh, we enter at least a short term bear market as well. The price of Bitcoin tends to go down. So there's a correlation, of course, here. And what we are seeing here at the moment is that after this green phase here, we are approaching this uh, line of um, of one again. So we are on the brink of uh, seeing short term holders uh, having to realize losses again. And coincidentally, this price, so the average price, uh, buying price, so to say, of short term holders seems to be at 53,000 US dollars at the moment. So this is slightly above our zone of support. And what you can expect should we approach this zone is really a huge, huge fight going on. Uh, first of all, expect there to be a lot of stop losses sitting there, you know, because on average, this is uh, where short term holders bought their Bitcoin and they don't want to uh, have a profitable a profitable position turn into a loss position again. So we're probably going to see some stop losses triggered, which could short term then lead to a situation where we slump down to 52 or even 50,000. Uh, but what we probably will see there is a huge fight. So should we go down where this is like the last line of defense that separates, uh, in my opinion, at least a short term bull market from a short term bear market. We need to rewrite, rewrite the book and the playbook for 2021, in my opinion, then um, not completely sure if we are going down there. But this could be a good area to buy if those short term holders win the battle. Uh, you can probably also see long term holders uh, buying there again. I mean, they are active uh, all the time anyway. And and but uh, as traders, we are always, uh, of course, also interested in what is going on short term. So this could be a good and profitable area to buy again around 53,000 US dollars because what we could see if we defend this is a quick rebound into this area of 58 to 60,000 again. So that might be a nice trade that is lingering around. But of course, we need to see first if we are really going into this area. And like I said on yesterday's, uh, pardon me, on Monday's episode of that crypto show, we still have those Mount Gox coins that are being redistributed to the original owners now we're talking about 142,000 Bitcoin there that are redistributed to the original owners that uh, so 8 billion US dollars in, in volume at, at a price of 58,000 uh, US dollars. Uh, so if those are thrown on the market also at least partially you can also you know expect that this will add a little bit of oil to the fire uh, but it's really a test. So should the market be able to absorb this really, those coins coming into the market, this would be again a very, very bullish sign. So interesting times ahead. 
the November is totally playing out differently than from what we thought uh, beginning of November. But this is the nice thing, you know, about being a more short term trader. Uh, you are able to adapt to situations like this. So the line and the cent as a summary at the moment is 53,000 US dollars. Should we fall below that, especially on an end of day basis, things are really going to change uh, and we could expect more pressure to the downside there, maybe even until the, the 200 day moving average, which is at 46, should that not hold maybe even until 40,000. But this is a long time going still. Uh, sentiment can flip to the positive within uh, just a matter of, of hours and days in Bitcoin again. So be prepared for upside or downside action at the moment. In any case, guys, always remember to use a stop loss. I'm going to see you on the next episode of that crypto show. Until then, stay safe and bye bye.